Welcome back to the latest and last episode of 2023. It's been such a big year. I have to wrap this up with a proper recap of all the best parts of 2023 and all my accomplishments of 2023. It's been such a rewarding year from the amazing conventions to two published works out to a couple of milestones that are coming in the new year that I was able to, to lock in. So I really want to dive in to the specifics of this year. I originally had different plans for 2023, but some of my goals shifted. I felt some things are in the wrong order, so I shifted gears and I was able to work on projects before others that I originally talked about earlier this year. I felt that it came more natural, but it also kind of shifted my timeline because of the amount of effort I was working on other things with but I'm more motivated, I'm more excited, and I'm more driven to give you this new order because it makes more sense to me. As you guys know, I do a ton of shows every year and I was able to do a few new big ones that I didn't do the previous year. And I was so pleased to do things like Blobfest and return to Oaks and Monster Mania and to try out some smaller shows that didn't necessarily work out or, or didn't give me as many sales as previous shows, but they really gave me a lot of knowledge and really gave me a lot of insight to what to look out for when I'm booking shows. And I was able to do things even bigger like CT Horror Fest. I couldn't do a recap video without telling you some of my top moments of this year. Certainly AuthorCon. AuthorCon is easily my biggest show of the year, not because of book sales or getting new customers, but the sense of community, the author friends I get to hang out with and all doing that in the name of helping people less fortunate and people who are in dire need of healthcare or uh, medical bills paid. That is something that I look forward to every year. It's gonna be even bigger next year. Every, every time it's like a big author hangout, everyone's in the same hotel. And coming in 2024, I'm gonna be able to hang out with a lot of readers that I interact with online that I don't normally get to see because all these amazing people are spread out throughout the country and some are even in in different countries like Canada. So people are gonna be coming down, people are gonna be coming from all, all over the country and I'm so excited to relive that. Another big moment for me was KillerCon. KillerCon was like a smaller atmosphere, similar to AuthorCon, but you know, in the extreme and splatterpunk genres. And being there, it's really just hanging out with a bunch of friends and a bunch of authors that you respect and a bunch of people that you may not normally get to interact with, again, because people are spread out all over the country. With KillerCon being such a fun event, it's also in the heart of one of the biggest horror locations ever, which I was able to explore. And next year, being the 50th anniversary of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm going to be exploring that a little bit more and really soaking in the dread and terror that makes horror so good. And, and I'll be able to bring that energy back and reminisce at KillerCon and hopefully get to enjoy some of that with my writing friends that are going to be there again next year. Three, Monster Mania and Oaks. Last video, I was able to show you my time with John Wayne Cabanale. But not only was I able to make it even bigger than last year, I was able to, you know, hang out with an author that I deeply admire, deeply respect, and really get to enjoy the festivities with someone who does this full time. And that was something that we're planning on doing next year. John Wayne has already reached out about doing this again. So coming in 2024, you're gonna be able to get me and John Wayne back at Monster Mania in Oaks. And not only that, I'm gonna be at two other Monster Mania shows in the Cherry Hill and Baltimore area. So stay tuned. Three Monster Manias in one year is going to be huge. So please make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna be giving you all that stuff by the end of next year. And I'm so excited to talk to you about all three of those shows. As, as you guys know, Oaks is so big for me and I'm so excited to not only attend Baltimore, but you know, really get to see the experience of vending at the Baltimore show. And Cherry Hill has been my white whale show for as long as I can remember. Actually this year would have been 10 years since I went to my first Monster Mania. So it's been a dream of mine ever since. And I really look forward to giving you guys that episode in March. My professional career has been very rewarding this year. Getting new customers, getting new books out, and working on things that are really gonna excite people and, and telling people what I'm working on and hearing that feedback. I really just wanna thank you all for you know supporting me and checking out my books. 
it's been an honor to talk to everyone at shows or online or reading your views or whatever the interaction is. But, you know, this place and this community and this platform is because I have such massive support behind me and I'm able to do things like this because I wake up every day and I'm able to write and I'm able to put my work out and people are really enjoying what I'm doing and I'm feeling a sense of accomplishment doing so. It's so flattering to know that my efforts aren't wasted and you guys are really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm gonna be giving you a lot more in 2024, so please stay tuned as always. The sense of community that I'm able to expand upon every year is really the best part of this whole journey of writing. I'm able to introduce someone to my book and they're able to read it and look at my back catalog and I'm able to interact with authors that I met for years and you know they check out my stuff and I meet people by reading their books and they start reading my books and it's it's exhilarating to be able to do this all the time you know I can wake up and look at my phone and see a new author follow me or I'm following a new author and really give the back and forth of reading and not only with authors I'm able to do with reviewers and new customers and people I'm meeting at shows and people I'm meeting online. So having that growth and having that ability to to steadily grow and the ability to expand upon that every year is really rewarding and the community really just keeps everything alive, makes the, the heart keep pumping blood and I'm so I'm so excited for all the growth that's coming next year. I'm so excited for the growth that has kept alive for from the inception of my first book and I'm so excited for the ever-growing enrichment of what that community is going to bring not only to to me but to the overall writing community the overall review community and it's really great to keep that thriving so thank you thank you to the community I love being able to interact with everyone on a daily basis and it's so en enlightening that I have that support my new book is coming in 2024. I'm hoping to have it out by AuthorCon. It's really looking good right now. I'm nearly complete with the first draft. I'm really gonna take the first quarter of the year to polish it, make sure it's edited, and get it out for you guys. Ideally, I'd like to have it out by Monster Mania in March, but that makes it a little bit tighter of a time crunch, so we will see. I do have an artist lined up to do the cover. I'm gonna keep that a secret for right now, but originally I had a very specific idea for the cover and the art look I was looking for was not quite obtainable. However, after doing some more research, I found an artist who not only works in the author community, but has worked for a lot of big names like Stephen King. Uh, I contacted this individual and we're gonna be working together on the next book cover. So this is going to be that something very true to the idea I had. I wanted to go for something illustrative. I'm so excited to show you this cover. It's an artist that you guys will most likely recognize. He's worked with a lot of big names. But like I said, I wanna keep it a secret for now, but stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna put it here first. As you guys know, the cover reveal is going to be here and I'm looking to give you that maybe in February or March depending on the time frame of when the cover will be done. So stay tuned, and I am so excited to give you my fifth book coming this spring. As always, guys, please subscribe. I'm putting buttons all over the screen so you can see it, and really helps me grow. Like I said, the, the sense of community has really been so good to me, and I really just want to give back. So if you subscribe, you're going to be seeing a lot more interaction between this channel and me. You're gonna be seeing some giveaways. You're gonna be doing a lot of hints of where you can get free stuff and how you can get discounts and where you can get stuff here first before any other of my social media. So make sure you're subscribed and keep watching because there's a lot coming in 2024. Every year I wanna get a little bit bigger. Every year I wanna do a little bit more. I'm always expanding. I'm always thinking of ideas which will make my, my brand bigger, my books a little bit more exhilarating and really just have the outreach grow even more. I love doing this, not only because, you know, more eyes are on me, but because it's so great to talk about how all this process is in my head and how all this, you know, fulfills me and gives me a sense of purpose. I really believe that I was put on this planet to write and to create, and it really 
wakes me up every morning and excites me all day and it excites me so much that sometimes I lose sleep over it. I spend way too many hours in the night writing. I spend way too many hours in the night reading. I was able to find a lot of success in really just watching how people do things and experiment with certain things to the point where I can weed out things I know aren't going to be necessarily beneficial and I can really maximize on things that I know are going to bring me a lot of growth and bring me more eyes for that growth. I say this a lot, but 2024, I really want to give you a lot more on this channel. I want to do a lot more risk taking. I want to do a lot more experimental things. So it's not really going to be this office backdrop all the time. You're going to be seeing me on the road more. You're going to be seeing me going out and about and doing certain things that are really going to help get this word out. So you will see a lot more coming in 2024, but please subscribe. Make sure you're checking out the website. You can also check out my new bookmarks, which are going to be coming with every book order, both online and anytime you see me at a convention. 2023 was immensely rewarding, and 2024 is going to be even bigger. Make sure you're subscribed, and make sure you're following me on social media for more updates. Happy reading, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye for now.